I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, and into the soul with liberty and justice for all. Mm -hmm. Hey, so I'll call the meeting to order. And I'll make a motion to approve today's agenda for August 15, 2023. I'll second that. Okay, we have a motion second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I'll make a motion to approve the minutes for August 8th, 2023. I'll second that. Okay, we have a motion and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Let's go down to meetings attended. Uh, I had one last week on the Board of Health, um, an hour and a half. We talked about a lot of stuff. Um, Roxanne's doing a great job out there keeping all this together. She's done a remarkable job of writing grants and funding things within her department and keeping track of those and how she spends the money. Um, so much so she was well into the black at last physical calendar year. Um, of course, that money rolls back into the general fund. but. Um, she's done a great job. Um, a lot of the meeting um, surrounded the purchase of a new vehicle for them. Um, in the past, I understand that they were getting old squad cars that were we yeah, very poor condition, uh, but they did manage and then we started buying used vehicles. Um, we have graduated to the point where I feel that we need to get them a new car. Um, they had $17,000 in their budget for a used one. The used market's really strange right now, um, has been since COVID. And 17 grand buys you um, a 60 or 80,000 mile vehicle. And maintenance on those vehicles can be um, hit or miss at best. Um, I directed them and, and said that um, my daughter-in-law had just bought a new Chevy Trax for $21,000 and some change. And um, I thought that maybe that might be a direction that they want, want to look into. Lynn Meinster did contact Wheelies and they actually had just gotten in a Chevy Trax and the sticker on is 21675 so I would like to, and it's down here a little farther into the, the thing, but I'll go ahead and, and move forward on that is um, recommend that we go ahead and purchase a new vehicle. And it's under warranty for three years. We don't have to deal with other than oil changes and tires. Mm -hmm. We don't have to deal with any sort of a maintenance issue on it. And um, I'd like to get them so that we maybe every other year we can get a car so I'm gonna direct her to get that in her budget so I think that's some um, a good move for those guys and other than that um a lot of a lot of numbers which I look at the numbers they talk about a lot of acronyms and and other things that are a little over my head but um, she's doing a, a wonderful job and I can't say enough good things about Roxanne that I really do I agree with it. yeah but that's um I did have a couple of meetings with some some ambulance things, but we'll talk about those later. There's nothing real major for me on that. <clears throat> That's it. Thank you. Yes, um, certainly. Tim Brink resignation. Is that oh, that's right. Tim, Tim resigned. We're working on trying to fulfill that that spot on the board so if anybody knows anybody it'd be nice if somebody was kind of into In the that medical field. yeah right um instead of some dummy like me that doesn't understand all that stuff i can look at the numbers i'm really good at the number part yeah. Yeah. health health concerns i think is what he listed what um i'm gonna watch i, I know some some younger people that 
are in that medical field, I'm gonna kind of approach them and see if they're interested. But the meetings are during the day and the younger people are working. That's so good. that's that's mm -hmm. difficult. Yeah. So I had a transfer station meeting. Uh, things are moving forward. The board uh, made the uh, voted and made the decision that uh, we're going to continue to keep the doors open. We're going to uh, look at uh, um, following price of money. We're getting prices together now. I'm getting the trailer, tractor, semi, uh, all that replaced. And so we're just getting enough money to do it. Uh, we have approximately two hundred and seven thousand in our account. Um, uh, you remember a long time we was uh, in the red and, and uh, close to the red. Uh, we was doing good, and then we had this DNR thing came up. So we're, we're going to push through it, kind of keep it open, um, make positive changes, long term changes. So we don't want to go through and rush anything. We want to make sure what we make is permanent. Um, even though we're on a uh, deadline, we have uh, December, I think it's December 7th for Harbor Day. I think we have uh, we have to have at least the recyclables, uh, the metal, the appliances, the cardboard, everything moved out to the new area, which we got dozed, compacted. So we got some rains on it, so that's even better. So we're going to let it set for just about another week. I'm going to start bringing some gravels and stuff in and start getting some base in. And then we'll um, get some concrete uh, estimates or bids and then pour them containments. And then we have to put uh, buildings over top of each of them. I think we're going to do five or six bays. bays. And then we can separate everything, get everything out there. And if we get that all done, which we will, um, that'll get us in compliance. That was one of the things they had done there for December 7th, the acceptance of the extension. So I've been out there quite a bit last week. Uh, we had dozing going on, and, and uh, but it looks good. I don't know if you guys have been out by their holiday thing out there. It uh, looks a little different, a lot higher uh, moving forward. Mm -hmm. And that place was out of the flood area anyway, but we raised it 24 inches up higher. A lot of people said, I would have went up higher. Well, it wasn't in our flood area because it was higher than the land across the street, but we did raise it 24 inches. So. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we're just trying to get, uh, I get uh, talking to people, trailer cost and, and uh, tractor semi, that's that's amazing. You're talking about used car market, the semi market is crazy stupid. I mean, they're out almost two years for a truck. <laughs> so it's, it's uh, we're looking into it, but I spent a lot of time last week on that uh, and working on uh, getting some bidding packages for the, for the conservation buildings and stuff like that. So we had a busy yeah. last week, but it just seemed like it went by fast. So I think that's it. Okay. Well, as I said earlier, um, I talked with Muscatine, or I mean, Des Moines County's assessor. He didn't say he's going to get back to us. He didn't really give a definite, but talked with him maybe trying to help us get someone in place and helping out over the next two or three years. Um, nothing definite yet. Um, and I went to a Russ meeting later on that day, uh, business as usual. It's always interesting with eight counties there, we get off subject a lot and talk about up in the Keokuk County area, they got windmills coming in like we got solar. solar. And how one county made the setback for a windmill 2,500 feet. Wow. And there's only two places in the county that you can put a windmill in the middle of the Skunk River and somewhere else. <laughs> well, at least it takes up less ground. I mean, other than but, you're putting a setback like that. It, it, yeah. Well, it's got to have a lane to it, too, if you're right in the middle of nowhere. Just interesting to hear everybody else's headaches. Don't sound like they want them. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's too bad. Do we have any input from the public? Mm. 
Pass the payroll changes. Are everybody seeing the payroll changes? Mm -mm. Nope. Okay. Oh, well. I'm going to do, uh, if that's okay, I'm going to do number 10, approved firework permit for Conanville Ground event. That's my motion for September the 2nd. Um, fireworks. I will second that. Okay, we have a motion and a second. All in favor, say aye. 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 And we probably need a motion on this one if you want to make it. And, uh, Oh, uh, I'll make the motion to accept um, the liquor license for these thirsty Canada. I'll second that. Okay, we got a motion second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. <clears throat> um, new hire. Okay. Um. We need to make a motion on the payroll changes or just reviews? It's a review. Yeah. Okay. All right. Fair enough. There's your thirsty camel thing. Here's the thing on the honor. Uh, we wanted to look at it. Curiosity. Now, with that, we got the government discount. And I let uh, Lynn Meinzer was kind of handling that through them. I can only assume that, but I guess I'll answer ask the question. I, I think the only discount we got was basically taxes, but I think that's okay because if you go to the discount, then you got to go to an out of county dealer to get that fleet. And I'd rather stay in county. In county. The only bad part about the car was it was black. They would have liked the white one, but they weren't going to. There are no white ones. They they searched. Um, is there a way that maybe we can do maybe? Um, something or vinyl down the road to, to put something could be yeah it, in the future we can go ahead and forecast this and order one yeah and and it just this just happened to work out because you're going to put some vinyl on the side anyway otherwise yeah. the, the only problem with with it is is all the gravel that they drive and black yeah. generally doesn't white but it it's roxanne said it's okay no big deal yeah we're happy. We're going the right way. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's good. So do we need a vote on that at all? Uh well, I don't think so. We could have been I think part of their budget. We're okay with okay. Uh, with the budget. Um uh, do we have to vote on the uh, extension of the budget? No. Um so it be amended. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it'll just be amended. If they come in under, we'll be fine. Later, yeah. But if they when go over then we we'll have to yeah, we can look at our line. But we're good with it. I am okay. Good, great. Yeah, because um, she's got it in her budget, so we won't have to do. I'll that. let her know. I she said Randy in the past will kind of handle all the video vehicle mm -hmm. kind of purchases, so I'll just kind of take the reins. Yeah, and he was on the board at the time. I'll call yeah. wheelies and we'll get things moving forward. We don't need a motion either. No. So now we don't have no one. So for a half hour, so we just won't. Overlook our claims. Do we even get hold of us? Cindy and have her do it early. Yeah, is Adam shut not coming today? No, he's at state for this. Okay. I said right. if we needed him, we could zoom him in, but well, let's yeah. hold up Katie. Yeah, yeah. 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 don't want to bother him unless we have to. I don't really have anything anyway. <clears throat> More rock. I thought we had a big pile of rock. No, it's a not. Not since Corey I'm done that. That's the one coming. <laughs> we spent a lot of money on rock. I'll give you that. Well, it's it's average about sixty thousand last year. We spend what did you see the other night? Just right at nine hundred thousand on rock a year. That's our biggest. 
That's a lot of rock. And that's not including the trucking. <laughs> There's a $49,000 bill here for it. A lot more than that. Wow. That's why I like to see us do more roads like that. Yeah, but roads okay, cost road. a lot more than. Yeah, but if we do that treatment. I know. That's. Okay. So I tried to poke at him here a while back about it, and he but, didn't act like there was enough. It warranted to doing that work, but. But if you figure 320000 for a road grader and. 200 it starts to add up yeah it's all that it's all the residual stuff yeah, <laughs> yeah. one of these days uh, the state's going to crack down and like they did in other states like in indiana they don't have very few gravel roads because of the silica dust uh, and yeah. that's where they get into that i mean i realized the gravel road to the ferry landing probably isn't a smart move but yeah. there should be some other gravel roads that you know, well, he's traveled enough that maybe we ought to really he does watch that number. I think 400 is the magic in it. Yeah, yeah he, he mentioned he's, that. Yeah, he, he knows the traffic count of every road and when we're working on it. And that's how the um, gas plant road got done. I think it was right around 390 to 400. And that's how he pulled the trigger. But I, I'm, I'm always the more they get used, obviously, the more maintenance they're getting like maybe the short road to Elric Junction I don't know how many people go up and down that road but there's cabins there there's houses yeah. there I'm just thinking out you know what other ones in the county would be I think what I need to do is pick the nice, next highest one every year try to do uh, treatment on them well it's going to screw us up too when the interstate goes through the four lane because then it's going to block some of them off yeah. So it's an endless job because you've got a lot of twenty year old cement roads. Yeah. Yep. That yeah. need resurfaced. Yeah. We got bridges that are yeah. we're falling behind because of the Waffle Bridge. Yeah. Wow. Here's Cindy. If you guys want to. Sure. Well, we've got one little short gravel road by Grandview done, huh? Yeah. You don't have to worry about that one anymore. Yeah, I drive it about every day. And it's, I like it. Seems to be holding up okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's only a month old. It better. And it's, uh, <laughs> it's a lot wider than the guy, what I thought it looked like from the highway. Yeah, it's. Yeah, I, I've been scooping now, but then it's so. <laughs> under the speed of the road. Yeah, he, he, he said he took that sign off, so, so I Hey, good morning. Can you hear me? Yes, yeah. very good. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. All right. So for general assistance, obviously I'm out of the office. I had my notes already and then I didn't bring them with me because I was planning on being in the office today. But um, so I don't have stats, but it's been pretty um, much the same. Any specific questions, but the um, mobile food pantry happens next Wednesday. Um, regular food pantry happened yesterday just as normal we did have five times yesterday but i don't have the monthly totals for last month with me uh, what else pretty much the same as normal so any questions um cindy i'm going to the early childhood meeting tonight are you going to be there awesome. I'm zooming in. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna be there in person. Okay, I'm gonna try to make it there in person tonight. So. Perfect. Yeah, Sasha's been asking about you, so that's yeah, great. I'm trying. I don't have anything. Yeah, and then I have the community action. Yeah, I have community action meeting this afternoon, so I'll be zooming in on that one too. So. Okay. Well, thanks so much, Cindy, for doing this early. Thank sure, you. no problem. You guys have a great day. You too. Take care. Thanks. Thanks. Bye.
Katie's on her way in. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Sean, what was the other meeting she said this afternoon? She, has, early? she has a community act. Community community act. act. Yeah. And that's in Burlington? Yep. Sure is. Right behind the McDonald's. What? Right behind the McDonald's. You know, they're right beside Reed or yeah. Electrical Supply. It's a warehouse. Yeah, it's kind of back in the middle of nowhere. It, it is. You don't know where it's at. Yeah. The entrance is in the back. Did you have any complaints about the stop sign? No, uh, I had quite a few that week, but I haven't heard any more since. I think I had six calls. I knew it was there and almost drove through it. <laughs> I seen two trucks. I was pulling up to it the other day and two pickup trucks went behind. And I thought, yeah, that would be good. Facebook was on fire about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's supposed to be a big group, but I haven't heard more about it. I'm mm -hmm. in a petition. I had a Monsanto employee complain, and, and another one said that he got pulled over but not ticketed. Around the stop sign. Around the stop sign. And, okay, good. They're watching. That's good. Four or five o'clock in the morning. Hmm. The, the, First day that that road was open, I think it was the first day, a semi must have went down the truck route and decided he's not on the right road. And he went down there and made a U turn at that yeah. intersection and just flattened that stuff. Yeah. In the intersection, he just flattened it. I seen it. I seen a picture. I got a picture. I was in Wisconsin. Like, Here's the new stop sign. Uh, but that wasn't because of, that's, that's the one that should be there. I mean, and you see what they did, the pavement marking? They no, put, I haven't been out there. They put the uh, Highway 61 on the pavement, painted it, and then they got signs up now, but they got paintings on the highway to show that 61, they got a turn thing on it. So, yeah, I like it. Yes, yeah. he's put some thought in. So, did, did they put no passing zone at that stop sign then? Uh, yes, he just did that. Because uh, that, that yeah. was the when they first opened it up that they put a stop sign and it's a dual yeah. passing way zone both directions and i know one guy in town was stopped at the stop sign in the car whoo, yeah passing yeah I, you know yeah there's no passing from the corner now to pass leon thompson's old place yeah where he's yeah. probably 100 yards probably past yeah. that yeah double line all the way through it and then they painted the road way and then he's got more Highway 61 signs. Yeah. I've seen, I think I met, or this morning I met a two semis on it, a chemical truck and a, uh, a hopper truck. <laughs> and then he uh, hasn't painted the lines yet on that road, but he's going to yeah. do that. But it, it, there's a lot of loose stone yet on that road. Yeah. yeah. I'm getting it off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I tell you, a corner is a pretty comfortable corner. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm happy. We're heading the right direction. I took it about uh, 25. And was, I could have went a little faster coming off the highway because it does have a yeah. more slope to it. Yeah. Have you been on? I seen you out there on your bike at one day. I met you. You know, I was going to Muscatine, and that's the day about. Uh, about ran it. It's, <laughs> it wasn't that day. <laughs> yeah, it was like. I knew it was there, and it, it's still almost, you know, I've been driving it for 30 years, and, and it's like blanked out yeah. at that point. Yeah, that's how I used to go to work every day that way through there, too. Just to back up a little bit at the Board of Health, um, Brian did talk quite a bit about the samples and how things are ch changing. We have to mail them all in now, and I think they're getting it worked out, but it really screwed some things up. Mm -hmm. And as uh, the mailing cost was, what do you say, twenty five dollars or something like well, that? Well, and I think they're re, re um, reimbursing it now. It's ten. 
Tim, okay. Um, isn't that right? Is that the way I heard that? I think that's what it was. They're reimbursing some of the costs. Now they can. But it, some of the stuff goes to Iowa City and then some of it goes on to Ankeny for arsenic testing. And yeah. I'm sure it, it has to do with personnel and, and people not having the people to run the trucks and pick stuff up. And I, this seems like a long way around the barn. I wonder if we ought to run that at the flagpole because that was one of um, Governor Reynolds' initiatives for water quality. If we can run that up, maybe they're not aware. Of the I don't think it's helping the situation no. by mm -hmm. mailing these off. Well, it's no, like it. It's going to, I think it might hurt ability to testing because a lot of people, if it becomes an issue, mm -hmm. they might not test. Yeah. Well, if the water goes to Hank and it takes it about two days to get there. Yeah. I don't know if that hurts the, 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 the testing procedure by the time. Well, there, there is a there is a time there is a time thing. So, is the accuracy is still the accuracy is still there if we send it off? Here. And with this high heat, what's that do to talking to the wrong person? Yeah. But ask questions. Maybe we can talk to some of the representatives and say, yeah, maybe oh, yeah. change back. Sometimes you got to shake the bars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Katie, how you been? Good. Busy. <laughs> um, so uh, the Eden Park grand opening ceremony, I thought, went really well. We had probably 40 ish or so people there. I don't think we could have had better weather if we'd have tried. Um, you know, for August 7th, it was like, 80 degrees and blue skies and a little bit of cloud relief and so it was gorgeous and it rained north of us yeah <laughs> what was that right? yeah oh. and the night before maybe oh, yeah. um so uh it turned out really good of course um sean and brad were both there we had collins and lofgren there um representatives from the community foundation of lovisa county and tri rivers and so it was neat to see all of the different people who've been sponsoring the project you know, throughout its existence be there. So I thought that went really well. Um, the annual report, did you find that on your chair today, yep, Brad? Yep, okay. sure did, right um, I sent that out to the conservation board members. So you guys can have until September 11th to go through it and notify me of any updates or changes or anything that you see. I made a note on there to specifically look at that last page. Um, for the projects that we want to kind of focus on for the next year. And uh, and then we should be approving that at our September 11th meeting and then have it to the supervisors by that meeting. So that's kind of the plan for that. I'll be at ISAC next week. Do we know if there's other people from the county going, Selena? I had to cancel so mine. You did? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if anybody else is going from here. Maybe he's not going. You're better. Okay. Good chances. Yeah. Yeah, it's in Des Moines. It's kind of all the different county affiliates. So there's like there's big general sessions for everybody, but then like the supervisors have their own group, the assessors, the auditors, conservation directors. Um, and so like we have, you know, different schedules, like there's some stuff together and then there's private agendas that focus on your job duties and stuff, and you can meet other people and it's a really great networking. Yeah. Yeah. It gives you the connections. Yeah. Um, let's see. So I'll be gone for that Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday next week. And then um I'm just been working on like the final grant, um, finishing up all the grant stuff from like the Eden Park playground and everything and, and our other projects that we had with community foundation and then starting to write new grants that'll be I think they open that up September one for community foundation and there's a few other grants opening up that we're gonna be working on for different projects we have going. Sadly, our summer staff is all gone. Friday was kind of the last day for the, the rest of them. We still have Luke um, through probably October-ish or whatever. I got to check and see where he's at hour-wise. Um, but we kind of, um, yeah, it's quiet. <laughs> and then um, my only question is, like, do we know what the complex plan is or, like, how much longer or... Are we getting a new roof or not? Or like, I guess I'm just wondering what the overall plan is at the complex. Hopefully the roof is this year. Okay. And I don't have time for the concrete this year to do like we was talking about, get the concrete on there placed. 
Oh, you mean like in front of our side door? Yes. Okay, I didn't know that was okay. And probably work on that next spring with okay with all the conservation buildings and, and okay the transfer station. How we had to step out of that. It's taken a lot of time. Yeah, because I know like winter's quickly approaching and there's no insulation and. We've gone through August. So yeah. 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 Okay. Um, we're just we're still meeting. Conservation board still meeting out, and so. Um, the other thing, I would kind of like to swap offices with the conference room um, yeah. because my office is way bigger than it needs oh. to be and the conference room would probably be oh, plenty of space. <laughs> yeah, and then I could see people coming and going when other people aren't there and, and then we would have room for conferences like in our end of the building. So like while that other room's tore up, we'd have a little bit more space for doing things in there. So I asked RNS and they don't think it's going to take much. That would be my only concern is what they have to do to not with the ceilings they can do it from. Yeah. There's already internet in there. And so yeah, we think that it might just be like making sure the IP address aligns with the printer and stuff. So if you guys are fine with that, I'll probably have the guys just help me do that sometime. So that makes sense. Okay. Um let's that see. Would be in the room for all that Mounts you got on the walls, but <laughs> I'll probably have to leave a lot of those in there. <laughs> but I just keep collecting stuff when people know they like it. Like most of those aren't even mine; they're people have just given them to me over the years. So, um, and then the naturals have been busy. They're kind of transitioning. All of our camps and summer rec programs are done, so we've sent invoices to the cities and. Um, and that summer staff has gone to, of course, and so they're transitioning over to all the school field trips and programs getting ready for that. We've got Hunter Ed coming up this week. Um, that'll be Thursday night and Saturday. Um, they're working on some grants also, and then our newsletter will be coming out here the end of this month, the beginning of next month, probably the end of this month. Um, what else? The maintenance staff is super, super busy. They're just kind of overwhelmed. We're trying to get the handicap line finished up so that we can get that place out at Chinkapin. Um, we've had a lot of equipment, just have little flips as equipment does of just tires and just random, random stuff. Um, yesterday they ran out to the Hoover Nature Trail that last storm knocked down some trees. And so like the cross country kids at Columbus are running the Hoover Nature Trail at Chinkapin every day for practice. They can run from the school down to the Hoover Trail, do the trail and then back to school. And so they got that opened up for them yesterday. Also building a new kayak rack at Langwood because we got those new kayaks with the grant. And so we moved, we moved our old kayaks out to Langwood and so far, they're just kind of laying on the ground. So we're trying to get that fixed up. Our new mower arrived. So that's been, everybody's been drooling over that for the last couple of days and test driving it. Yeah, so it took us almost a year. Yeah, it was last fall. Huh? We ordered it in October, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did they get the timing issue that air code fixed on the skid loader? No. That's still they have not taken that up yet. We okay. need to do that. We're as long as you don't back it up, it works. And so we needed it for the That's moving the right. yeah, we need it for moving the blind. Yes. Yeah. And I told them not to take the blind off of the trailer until it was done. <laughs> so um, because we've been well, L and M built most of it, the shop class, and so like we got to get that set because two years ago the money was donated for that and yeah. we thought that a school was building it last year and they didn't and they built it this year but they only have an hour yeah. you know in class and so um they didn't get near as far as what we hoped last Just year and, minutes get started. yeah so we, we have a pretty solid goal to get it out there before hunting season which is very very soon so next month so yeah. so uh yeah so we will get that up hauled up there as soon as we get this blind set and hopefully it'll be fri by Friday that we get that done. So Sounds good. Um, yeah. Okay. Questions? Right I don't mean to hijack your meeting, but um, when I go out to the Board of Health meeting, I have a parking lot is packed. We can't hardly find a parking spot out there. Is there a way that we can put a gravel parking lot or something to Get a little bit more space, because I, I, I'm I'm shocked at how 
Oh, yeah. Full yeah. lap places. And then employees on the public health always parks in that grass area right off the end. And I had heard that um, when they have meetings around at the sheriff's office, a lot of times it's all the sheriff's cars are there and there's no place to park on that side either. So. Yeah, their lot's almost always full too. Yeah, we definitely good. don't have enough parking for it's Nice to look into mm -hmm. how we can. And we could always go where they, uh, oh, what do they call that little thing that's out there? Gazebo. Yeah, we're straight south of the road to go back to the sheriff. Yeah. It's rotted, it, so we yeah. did it that way. We removed trees to get it where it was at now. We had some small trees through there. But if it's going to do it, it, it'd be nice to get some concrete down because it's going to be a lot. And I agree with that. I just thought maybe the first step, maybe just make a gravel parking lot. Yeah. And then you could pave over it after it's compacted a little bit. and. Mm -hmm. um, but it it, it's it needs Nine half a dozen leaves. more for at night, and we're always parking on the grass. At, at least, least a half a dozen more. And vehicles are so much bigger than they ever used to be. The spots are almost too small. Especially on your side, that old spot. Yeah. You can't well, really back out without hitting the car. Yeah, like yeah, Ryan and I always park yeah. next to each other because him and I, our trucks are yeah. so big that if you park in a normal spot and people are on yeah. each side of you, so I park on or right at the line or just barely over the line at the first spot and he parks right next to me so we can yeah. open our doors without banging each other There's so an observation that i made the last yeah. night yeah he needs to grow yeah. yeah maybe something to consider when we get a cement crew out there next year mm -hmm. if we extend it south can we get another six or eight places oh we could probably more get 20. Yeah. oh that would, be, that would be perfect yeah. six or eight would be great 20 yeah. would be if you stay the same awesome. width i think when we figured out there was 22 parking in front of public health, we, we yeah, yeah. I don't know what the reason was for having the middle, like the row of things in the middle versus on the side. But I feel like, especially like our big trucks or our 12 passenger van, it's nearly impossible to back. There's just not even space between those two rows. So. I always tell all of our new interns, I'm like, you park for escape every time because someone's going to pull in and be right behind you or right next to you, you know, so <laughs> that would be really good. To... My truck's so long. Yes. To get. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yours is yours is even longer than yeah. than mine is. So, yeah, yeah, yeah well, it's to we'll... kind of read, look at that shape. We'll and that concrete uh, next year. Okay. Sounds good. Thanks Thank for you. coming in. Thank yep. you. Thanks for coming. Go ahead. This thing. Oh, sure. Just telling you guys. Any other questions on this? Uh, claims? No. If not, I'm going to make a motion that we approve our claims. A second or August 15th. Okay, we got a motion to second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Well, that concludes our agenda. Unless the public has any questions. I'm ready. I think that's the earliest. This is the earliest. Yeah. We should start at six o'clock in the morning. We could be done. Sure. It's now. It's now. It'll be with me. It would be me, too. Well, <laughs> I love having meetings in the middle of the day. Yeah, at the end of the table might not be very happy. Yeah, with that. she's here at night anyway. So what makes the difference to her? Well, I'm here all the time. <laughs> 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 so you want to uh, I have a find somebody? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I make, make, make a motion to adjourn the meeting. I'll second. No, you did. I said hi. Okay. Yep. Uh, play the ride. Right. Right. We'll do that. See you later, man. Bye. You know, Selena, I had a question when I was running the toe business. I had a cot.